Hi, fourth graders. All right, today is uh, February 3rd. Today was an early release day, so we um, are already out for the day. And so this morning in math, uh, we continued talking about um, angles with our geometry lesson. And this information came from GoMath on page 450. Um, but we took some notes on that page there. So let me pull this up. So the thing that we talked about today is angles. So angles are when you have, um, yesterday we talked about rays. So here we talked about um, how a ray has an end point and then it'll shoot off into one direction with the arrow at the end showing that that is a ray. And so an angle is formed when you have two of those come together and they have that shared endpoint. And that shared endpoint is called a vertex. Okay, so the angle, we measure them, and we measure the distance that it is open. So this one starts here, opens all the way up. So all of this distance in here, um, that is what we're measuring. Now we can name angles different names. So if you look here, the little angle symbol, the way I would say this is angle ABC. And the way I found that is you just look at a point on that ray and you just go straight down. So A, B, C. You just follow the line. You don't go from A to C. You don't jump. You just go straight down the line. So A, B, C. The next way you can say it is angle CBA. So this is just starting on the opposite side, C, B, A. And this is going backwards. You can also name it by the vertex. So if you notice, angle ABC, whether we name it ABC or CBA, they both have that B in the middle. And so you can also just say angle B. And I would know that you're talking about this one here. So the reason we name things, just like we name ourselves, is so we can tell, um, that's one way that we can tell each other apart. Same thing with our angles. When we have a whole bunch of angles all on the page, we want to identify which ones we're talking about, so we give them names. And those names come straight from the points. Now the next part we talked about, and uh, please pause this so you can get all this information down. Um, all of this information is about the types of measurements. So certain measurements, if you look at, um, if you look down here on the bottom, certain measurements. Yeah, I left one off. So certain measurements um, go with certain names. So you have your right angle, and this is a that perfect L shape. So you see the L right there. And it could be going the other way as well. Um, it could be upside down. Um, but this is what we find in, uh, let me get my little, okay. this is what we find in squares and corners. So if you look at my post-it note, the corners, each of those have that L shape. Okay, so whether it's the correct way an L goes, or maybe it's a backwards L or an upside down L. They all have that straight line and then another straight line going straight up like that. So they form a square corner. You find right angles in squares. So a square has four right angles and also rectangles have four. And you will, if you look at the difference between Notice that when I have the other types of angles, they all have this rounded little arc, almost like a little rainbow in there. And that arc is showing where this angle is opening up at. So when I talk about the angle of this one, I'm talking about all of this space in between here. So I know it's opening that side. Angles can also open like this and go all the way around. So it's just a way to identify what part that I'm talking about. So when you are given a bunch of angles, one of your jobs is going to be able, or you're going to need to know what the names are. And so if I see something that doesn't have this rounded, 
it has more like a little box, a little square, then I'm thinking, okay, that is automatically, I know that that is a right angle. Okay, so if you see this square inside your angle, you know you're talking about a right angle. So right angles have a special measurement. They are exactly 90 degrees. So the way that we um, measure how much space is from here to here, we measure it in degrees. And this, um, if I'm talking about a right angle, I'm talking about something that is exactly 90 degrees, not 89, not 91, exactly 90. Okay, so a right angle is only 90 degrees. If I'm talking about a straight angle, this one's pretty easy because it's just a straight line. It could be vertical, it could be horizontal, it could be diagonal, but it is a straight line. Okay, so it forms that straight line. These are just like the right angles where they are only one degree. So not 179, not 181, exactly 180. Acute angles, I always remember acute because I see that word cute in there and I always associate little small things like puppies or babies or whatever you're talking about. Little, little things are always cute. So um, acute angles are these smaller angles. They are less than 90. So they measure less than that right angle. And their numbers, they have a range. So these, the right is only 90. The straight is only 180. But acute angles, they have a range. So they can go anywhere from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the numbers that are in between, all the way to 89. Because remember, the second that we get to 90, now we've turned into a right angle. Okay, so that's acute. 0 to 89 degrees. And this little symbol right here, we just read it as degree. So this is 89 degrees. All right, obtuse. This sounds like a very big, like obtuse. I'm obtuse. It sounds like a big word to me. So big word, big angle. So unlike acute, acute was less than, these are greater than right angles. So notice if I draw a line straight up, a little dotted line here to show where 90 degrees is, okay, Let's see if you can see, hopefully you can see that on the camera there, so there's my, my, where my 90 degree angle would be, notice this, it starts right here, and it's opening, and it's going, and it's going, opening, 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 there's my 90 degrees, it continues to open and get bigger, so that opening is really large there, so that is an obtuse angle, and that is something that is greater than a right angle, but notice it's less than a straight angle, because when we hit that 180, we're going, and now we're a straight angle. So the range, greater than 90, so here's, here's my right angle, it's greater than a right angle, so it starts right after, one degree after at 91, but less than 170, or I mean, sorry, less than the straight angle, so it stops at 179 because that straight angle is 180 degrees. So um, all of this here, um, there's not going to be a chart. There's not going to be any kind of reference. Um, this all has to be memorized. So we need to be able to know the measurements, so all of these ranges, all of these numbers where it says exactly this, exactly that, um, all the ranges right here, we, we, have to ha we have to know all of that. We have to know what these look like. And one way that you can do that is you can take a piece of paper, and if you take your paper that has, remember we talked about how um, these have these right angles in the corner, Okay, so a picture, I mean a, a piece of paper, a book, something like that. And if you take it, one way you can test whether something is larger than a 90 degree angle or less than a 90 degree angle is you can line it up. And if you line it up and everything lines up perfectly, you know that your angle is a right angle. Okay, so if this is a right angle and it lines up perfectly, that's a right angle too. However, if you get over here, and you go to line this up, so I match this bottom straight line, I'm going to match it up. And remember, if I was a right angle, then I would look like this. 
and the line would be right here. But nothing matches up over here. If you can kind of see through my paper, the angle stops right there. So if it is on the inside, if it's this part right here and it doesn't go all the way to 90, it's on the inside of my paper, then I know it's less than 90. That would be an acute. Now with obtuse, you can still use your paper. Again, line it up. And again, straight, this straight line right here, that would be 90. Okay, my other one's lined up right here, that's matching. This is 90. So again, if your angle is coming outside of the paper, it went past your 90 degrees, now you know you're greater than 90. And um, this is your obtuse angle, okay? So bigger than 90, less than 90. We need to be able to identify what is what. We need to be able to identify our right angles. And then like I said, those, those straight angles are pretty easy to identify because they're just the straight line. But using a piece of paper or something like that or a book, um, something with those, those straight, you know, straight lines that show the right angle can be, um, you know, because sometimes you get pretty close, like when you've got measurements that are like in the 80s and stuff, sometimes you're pretty close. So using something to kind of help you um, is, is good to be able to see that. We'll also practice using uh, protractors to get um, exact measurements later on. But for now, everything on this page needs to be up here in our noggin, okay? So use this chart as a guide but we eventually need to get to the point where just like the place value chart, if I ask you to draw a place value chart, you don't have to look up the labels, you just know it. Okay, so we need to get to that point. So practice, practice, practice. Um, we did some practice in class today where you know we would take our arms, and we would say, okay, um, if we're all the way closed, that's at zero degrees. When we start opening, 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 we're getting bigger, so around here's an, uh, an acute angle, when we go all the way straight up, that's a 90 degree angle. When we go past and we get bigger, that's our obtuse angles, okay? So let me show you with my hands because you can't really see my arms very well. So zero degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. When we get straight up and down, that's 90. Then when we keep going and getting bigger, that's our obtuse angles, okay? Straight, that straight line, it could be horizontal, it could be vertical, it could be diagonal. Um, right, acute, obtuse. So practice, 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 and um, you'll get the hang of that. It's not, it's not too hard. It's just, um, I mean, the, these sometimes people get stuck on the ranges, but if you practice um, and learn these first, then you can see, okay, I know acute is going to be everything smaller than this, and obtuse is going to be um, in between these two. So bigger than this and less than this, so right in between. So hope that helps. And that was what we did with um, angles today. So there you go.